First of all, thank you guys for being here. This is a very exciting day for our university. Um, uh, very, very exciting times as we move forward in our athletic department. I'm going to bring our university president up first, Dr. Rodney Bennett. If you guys please give him a warm round of applause. Well, good morning to each of you and welcome to the University of Southern Mississippi. I'd like to begin by thanking Coach Woodfin for that introduction and to thank all of you for joining us this morning. I'd like to begin by acknowledging that many of our friends and neighbors are facing great loss in the wake of severe storms that impacted our communities over the weekend. I invite you to join me in a moment of silence as we reflect on those losses and consider the recovery work yet to come. Please join me in a moment of silence. Thank you. In light of this weekend's events, I considered postponing the announcement of our new director of athletics. But I believe that this individual can begin making leadership contributions now as we shape the University of Southern Mississippi's community outreach and recovery efforts. Out of respect for those affected by the storms, this morning's announcement will not be as festive as we would normally make it. But that does not lessen our excitement about the successful candidate. As I've indicated before, intercollegiate athletics has provided an outlet for students pursuing their degree requirements since its establishment. It has also provided students with the opportunity to play their sports at the highest amateur levels while, cont while continuing their education. Today, I have the distinct honor of presenting to the Golden Eagle family the seventh director of athletics for the University of Southern Mississippi, who will provide leadership and oversight for our athletics programs that continue to expand the rich tradition of excellence Southern Miss has enjoyed for decades. Before I introduce our new director of athletics, I'd like to thank Coach Zach Woodfin for his dedication and willingness to serve as interim director. Zach will continue to lead the department through this transition until our new director of athletics arrives permanently near the end of February. I'd also like to thank Bob Bodine, president and CEO of Eastman and Bodine, for his firm's assistance in identifying the successful candidate. And then finally, I'd like to thank the interview committee for their engagement and valuable feedback to me during this process. I'd ask the interview committee members to stand and remain standing as I call your name. Ms. Caroline Bradley, President of the Student Government Association. Dr. Maureen Ryan, faculty member and dean of the College of Arts and Letters. Eric Poncho James, a USM alum, local businessman, and Athletic Foundation board member. Ron Savell, a USM alum, a local restaurateur, and Athletic Foundation board member and Mr. Chad Driscoll, Vice President for External Affairs. Thank you all for your service and dedication to the University of Southern Mississippi. It is now my pleasure and honor to introduce and present to you Mr. John Gilbert, the seventh director of athletics for the University of Southern Mississippi. John comes to USM from the University of Tennessee, where he has served as Executive Senior Associate Athletics Director 
since 2011. During his tenure there, he has been responsible for all facets of day-to-day -day athletic operations, including strategic planning and management, external operations and academic affairs, among others. Prior to his experience at Tennessee, he worked for nearly 17 years at the University of Alabama, serving in multiple roles, including Associate Athletics Director from 2009 to 2011. With more than 20 years of experience in intercollegiate athletics, John has developed a broad-based skill set by working his way through all levels of the organization. Under his leadership at Tennessee, student athletes have earned an average 3.06 grade point average, and all programs exceed the NCAA academic progress rate standard. He has demonstrated the ability to manage budgets and generate revenue as evidenced by his success trimming operation expenses and negotiating a multi-million dollar apparel deal for athletic programs. John also has a track record of developing and implementing creative ideas that advance athletics programs. For example, he was instrumental in negotiating the Tennessee, in negotiating for Tennessee to host a football game at Bristol Motor Speedway in 2016. During his time at Alabama, their development office generated $82 million in gifts and pledges for the Crimson Tide Foundation. And John had oversight for the marketing and promotions department, as well as all facets of the ticket office and seat licensing program. And the list, ladies and gentlemen, goes on and on and on. John is a graduate of Lenore Ryan College in Hickory, North Carolina, where he was a three-year letterman on the football team. He earned a master's degree in sport administration at Eastern Kentucky University. John and his wife, Katie, have two teenage children, daughter, Larson Ann, and son, Kent. Katie, we are so glad, Katie and Larson and we are so glad that you all were able to join us this morning. Clearly, John Gilbert's credentials position him competitively for any director of athletics position across the country. But when asked why he is, when asked what he is most proud of, his response was simply, my family, speaking to his character and his values. I could not be more excited about the future of Southern Miss athletics under the leadership of John Gilbert. As we continue to build upon the historic success of our programs, John Gilbert is the right person for the right time. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming to the podium our seventh director of athletics, Mr. John Gilbert. President Bennett, thank you very much for that kind introduction. As you can imagine, it's very exciting for me to be here in Hattiesburg, Mississippi on January 24th, 2017. Today, I'm honored to formally accept the position as the Director of Athletics at the University of Southern Mississippi. Before we move on, I do want to pause and lift up the Hattiesburg community with my thoughts and prayers. It's inspiring to see how our community came together to affect those 
uh, that were affected by the, the recent tragedy here. It really is inspiring. There are many people that I would like to thank uh, that facilitated this process. First, I would like to start with the search committee. Chad Driscoll, uh, thank you, Catherine, for uh, coming with Katie and I yesterday. You really made the trip uh, enjoyable, and I thank you for that. Dr. Maureen Ryan, uh, Caroline Bradley, Ron Savell, and Poncho. Uh, <laughs> Poncho and I are on a first name basis with one another. It, it really was an exciting process and I couldn't be more excited to be here. The search firm, uh, Eastman Bodine, Bob Bodine, Kevin Gall, they were true professionals throughout the, per the process. They were the best in the business. The great men and women that have affected my life. My mother and father, Ken Marietta Gilbert. Excuse me. My father taught me what it was to have a work ethic. My mother taught me how to dream. I couldn't be more excited to be here today with you all. Um, my family's here. Um, really thankful for the opportunity. The other people that are important in my life and, and have helped me along the way. Tom Thomas, Joe Castiglione, Greg Sankey, Dutch Balkman, while I was at the University of Alabama, Dr. Robert Witt, Mal Moore, my dear friend Kevin Allman, who's with me today, thank you for being here. At the University of Tennessee, Dr. Jimmy Cheek. Dave Hart has been my boss for seven years, two years at the University of Alabama, five years at the University of Tennessee. Dave Hart is the greatest gift of my professional life. I would not be standing here before you today without his leadership and guidance. Dave, I can't thank you enough for you and Pam. You've taught Katie and I so much. On to a personal introduction. In terms of my upbringing, I was brought into this world by Kent Marietta Gilbert. Thank you for that. I was raised with a strong sense of traditional values. Love, respect, hard work are what I live by. In terms of my formal education, I played football at Lenoreine College in Hickory, North Carolina. I was a graduate assistant football coach at Eastern Kentucky University and received my master's degree in sport administration. I am a product of the student athlete experience. I was transformed in every way by that experience. In terms of my professional experience, I coached high school for two years and leaving high school, I went to the University of Alabama where I spent almost 17 years there. I was affected by many people there, Mal Moore, Coach Nick Saban, Pat Murphy, so many administrators and coaches that I really can't name. I, I do want to thank them all. I left the University of Alabama, spent the last five years at the University of Tennessee. I'm very thankful for the experience that's really put me in the position to, to be here before you today. I have three messages. Number one, we will align the athletic department with the educational mission of the university. We are not the most important thing on this campus, but we are the most visible. I will make sure, Dr. Bennett, that we align uh, our athletic department with the institutional mission of this university. Number two, the student athlete is our top priority. I believe in comprehensive excellence. Excellence academically, excellence athletically, and then athletics socially in, in the community. Those are the three things that I believe of with comprehensive excellence and the student athlete as our top priority. As a former student athlete, I clearly understand the importance of full compliance with all NCAA conference and university rules. We've got something worthy of protecting and we will. 
My third message is we will invite and engage our community as never before. In my conversations with President Bennett, we spoke of sustainable budgets, of competitive success, both on the field and in the classroom, and private giving. We'll invite folks to buy a ticket, we'll invite them to a barbecue, we'll invite them to my office. We will engage this community like never before. President Bennett, those are my three messages. My closing comments. My most special love and thanks to Katie, my wife, former student athlete, former coach, and the most amazing person in my life, my best friend and my soulmate. Thank you for being here today. To my son, Kent, who's at home uh, attending a basketball game tonight, uh, he inspires me to be a great father, so thank you. And his older sister, Larson, Thank you for being here today. I, I am so lucky to be your dad. Far and away, this is my greatest accomplishment, my family. These are the most important people in my life. So this is my family, and we're proud and honored to say yes to make your home, Hattiesburg, our own. President Bennett, thank you very much for your time today. I'll close with this. Today is a great day to be a Golden Eagle. Southern Miss! Ladies and gentlemen, that will conclude uh, our announcement. John, we're excited to have you on board, excited to have you as our leader. At this time, we're going to invite all credentialed media okay, into the parlor, the Roland and Teeny Dale parlor. Okay? And everybody else at this time, you're dismissed. Have a great day, guys.